more now. Birds known as wrens in West Houston are starting a tradition. They are. Canberra Marshall here now with a special family gathering that happens every year in a very unusual place. Yeah, you can say that again. I can say this. Homeowner Eddie Stake says that there must be something very special about his home, specifically his mailbox, because a family of wrens has made it a habit to stop in every year to have babies. This mailbox in the Wrenwood subdivision in West Houston is once again a maternity board for baby wrens. And the baby's been there about three weeks, and uh, they usually have between three to five eggs, and uh, they're baby wrens. They're just, they're beautiful. They're about half the size of a sparrow. Homeowner Eddie Stake says this is the fifth year the wrens have made his unique mailbox home, right on schedule. The mama wren appears and starts sitting on the edge of the mailbox, putting twigs. And so when you pick up your mail, you notice that the mail is getting higher and higher. <laughs> so we say, well, it's time to put the sign out and put the secondary mailbox out. He says it's fun to be so close and able to watch Mother Nature in action. We can't feed them. Uh, I think they just eat bugs. But uh, we just plain leave them alone. They've gotten used to us opening and closing the door all hours of the day and night. And um, they coexist with us, and they're pretty neat to see Mustang says he's not sure if it's the same mama bird or offspring, but says he's happy to provide that special birthing place and says the U.S. Postal Service seems just fine with it as well. We've done some research and know that wrens can live for seven years, okay. so it's not unusual, not unlikely that that mama wren comes back. However, they tell me that the mama wrens often change partners, so okay. ooh, that's another, that's a soap opera kind of thing. Oh, uh, yeah. But for them, that's so neat that they get to see the little babies Every and everything. Animal Every year. Year. Yeah. That is the craziest story. And they live in the subdivision named <laughs> Renwood. <laughs> Renwood, yeah. The Renwood, yeah. of all things. Yes. All right. The appropriate place for them to live. Great story, yeah.